What if I told you the CIA is operating a director level clandestine UFO UAP crash retrieval and recovery operation in tandem with Joint Special Operations Command? What if I told you that so far they've recovered at least nine disks from crash sites around the world, two of which are intact? And what if I told you that this isn't even the crazy part? It gets even weirder. How weird does it get? We're about to find out. My name's Clint, and you are on the night shift. According to a bombshell article by the UK Daily Mail's Josh Boswell, the CIA operates a secret office called the Office of Global Access in tandem with JSOC, the Joint Special Operations Command, that has conducted UFO retrieval missions on at least nine crash sites around the world. According to whistleblowers, here is the article, and this is uh, by Josh Boswell, UK Daily Mail. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. And it says a secretive CIA office has been coordinating the retrieval of crashed UFOs around the world for decades, multiple sources told DailyMail.com. One source said that at least nine apparent non-human craft have been recovered by the U.S. government, some wrecked from a crash, and two completely intact. Three sources briefed on those alleged top-secret operations told DailyMail.com that the Office of Global Access, the OGA, a wing of the Central Intelligence Agency's Science and Technology Directorate, has played a central role since 2003 in orchestrating the collection of what could be alien spacecraft. The three sources who spoke on condition of anonymity to avoid reprisals have all been briefed by individuals involved in those alleged UFO retrieval missions Though the shocking claims sound like they come from a science fiction novel, they are part of a growing body of evidence suggesting the U.S. government could indeed be hiding advanced vehicles that were not made by humans. It's not from a sci-fi novel. It's from Stargate SG-1, where an elite team of Air Force commandos retrieve alien technology for human betterment and they bring it back to Earth. That's what this is. It's the same thing. The Stargate team is real. Check this out. Here's the seal of the OGA. Tell me this isn't from the props department at Stargate. This is exactly like something that would come out of one of those episodes. It's unbelievable. So this article gets even weirder. Stick with me. Here we go. There's at least nine vehicles. There were different circumstances for different ones. One source briefed by the UFO program insiders told DailyMail.com. It has to do with the physical condition they're in. If it crashes, there's a lot of damage done. Others... Two of them are completely intact. Now it goes on to say the source said the CIA has a system in place that can discern UFOs while they're still cloaked. What? And if the non-human craft land, crash, or are brought down to Earth, special military units are sent to try and salvage the wreckage? Are you kidding me? So we have cloaked craft. Not only do we have cloaked craft, but the CIA has some kind of elite ninja team that can see the cloaked craft. And then we have the means to bring down these craft and then go in and retrieve the crash disc or UAP. What? Quote, the task at hand is simply to get it into custody and protect the secrecy of it, one source said. The actual physical retrieval is by the military but it's not kept under military control because they have to keep too many records. So they start moving it out fairly quickly into private hands. Documents published by the National Archives and Records Administration in December 2016 showed that the OGA was one of 56 offices in the CIA with its chief and deputy making up two of a total 286 director level officials in the spy agency. This is Doug Wolf. He is the gentleman who set up the CIA's Office of Global Access in 2003. A 255-word biography of former OGA Deputy Director Doug Wolf, published by an aerospace conference in 2017, says that he helped start the Office of Global Access. Wolf's bio cryptically adds that he was responsible for leading and managing strategic, unwarned access programs that deliver intelligence from the most challenging denied areas, and served as program manager with responsibility for 
end-to-end system acquisition of an innovative new source and method for the intelligence community. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Two sources told DailyMail.com that the OGA coordinates with special operations forces, such as SEAL teams or Delta Force, under the Pentagon's Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC. So cool. Or nuclear weapons experts, such as the Nuclear Emergency Support Team, NEST, to collect the crashed or landed craft. One source said that the Air Force Special Operations Command's 24th Special Tactics Squadron based at Pope Field Army Air Base in North Carolina has also been involved in securing areas for UFO crash retrievals. Sources say the CIA office then often hands the wreckage or material over to private aerospace contractors for analysis, where it is not subject to rigorous government audits and can be shielded with protections for trade secrets. Quote, the CIA is the portfolio manager or owner of the UAP crash retrieval operation, one source who has shared their information with Congress, told the Daily Mail. Com. So think about what this article is claiming, right? We should be furious. The CIA, in tandem with Joint Special Operations Command, operates a clandestine UFO crash retrieval program. They have the technology and capability to see cloaked craft and bring them down out of the sky. Then they send in these special operations units to secure the area, recover the disc. Then they take the disc back, and what do they do with it? They hand it over to a private military contractor that takes billions of dollars of your tax money and develops the next three, four, five generations of technology that's locked up in a bunker someplace that none of us can ever see unless we blow this thing open with a bunker buster missile of truth. This is the biggest story of all time, but I want to know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Have I completely missed the mark on this one? Let me know what you think in the comments and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It is a heavy lift to build this channel and I can use all the help I can get. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, keep looking up.